Hi everyone, and welcome to my talk about the Ideas Initiative, a department-wide collaboration to promote gender equity in the geosciences. My name is Kellum Tate Jones, pronouns she, her, hers, and I will be your presenter for this talk. Uh, so just a little bit about us, my co-authors and I are all either grad students or faculty in the University of Oregon Department of Earth Sciences. And we study a whole host of earth science topics from volcanoes and earthquakes to landslides and fossil seals. But we are all united by a drive to tackle the barriers that stand in the way of women and other gender minorities in this field. So towards that end, we formed IDEAS, which stands for Inclusivity and Gender Diversity in Earth and Atmospheric Sciences. And yes, we are very proud of this acronym. So IDEAS grew out of a series of conversation among women in our department back in 2018 about the challenges that gender minorities face in the earth sciences. And most of us had been involved in organizations that addressed various issues about diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, but felt that none of them were fully serving the needs that were specific to the earth sciences. So we had the haha idea to create a platform for implementing solutions-based interventions to problems of gender equity in our department. So at its core, IDEAS is a a collaborative initiative between grad students, undergrads, postdocs, faculty, and staff, basically anyone associated with the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Oregon. And this initiative serves the following mission, uh, to engage the entire department in creating an environment that empowers women and other gender minorities, including transgender and gender nonconforming individuals, to pursue geoscience careers. And we work to achieve this mission using the following three-pronged approach. So imagine, if you will, the whole great beautiful world of geosciences, and then imagine the barriers that stand between gender minorities and successful career paths within the geosciences. Everything from stereotype threat and abusive advisors to sexual violence and expectations for higher service commitment from women. And IDEAS works to deal with those barriers through th three main strategies. And the first of those is skill building. So a heck of a lot of the skills needed to succeed in the geosciences, and especially in the field, aren't taught in regular curriculum. And you're just kind of expected to already know those things which creates barriers to people who haven't received that knowledge through other life experiences. Uh, so for instance, before I started my geology degree, I had almost never peed outside, and I had to learn how to do that through a lot of trial and error uh, that may have ended up in some really soggy socks a few times. And things like this can really be a huge barrier to gender minorities because so many new things can be really scary. So IDEAS provides opportunities for participants to build uh, both technical skills and practical and personal skills needed to succeed in the field. And I like to think of these types of interventions as ways that we help gender minorities sort of climb over these barriers. Uh, so to build these skills, we offer all sorts of different active learning programming, like some of the examples that you see here. Uh, we've held a power tools class, and we've also led uh, multiple hiking workshops where we learned uh, all about things like reading topo maps and the uh, absolute magic of wicking underwear, as well as things like how to pee in the woods without splattering yourself with urine. Uh, secondly, we provide support for individuals who have experienced uh, harassment or assault, what I kind of like to think of as the medic tent part of this metaphor. And we had noticed that both at University of Oregon as a whole and in our department specifically, there was a lack of clarity around the reporting process. And uh, also an overwhelming sort of mentality of just sweeping things under the rug because of the high time cost 
of actually following through with a report. So to address this, uh, we first put up permanent flyers around the department about hotlines to call if you were experiencing harassment or assault uh, and signs of, that were delineating specific behaviors that are acceptable and not acceptable. And we actually kind of thought that this was a really pretty small thing to do when we first did it until we had uh, multiple people come to talk to us after we put the signs up and told us that before those signs had been posted, they hadn't known where to go or who to talk to or what to do about experiences that had happened to them. Um, and we also had, we actually had these signs taken down several times by unknown figures. So we were clearly kind of ruffling some feathers. Um, and we also developed several flowchart resources like the one you see here to help people understand their options if they experienced harassment and sort of delineate the process that they could expect to undergo. So finally, we also work to directly dismantle barriers to gender minorities in the geosciences by engaging the entire department in conversations and trainings around building a safe, welcoming environment for all of its members. Uh, I don't necessarily think that this part of the metaphor needs too much explanation. Uh, so towards this end, uh, we've done things like produce and disseminate frank literature about getting visits from old Aunt Flo in the field, uh, which both provides information and combat stigma. Uh, we've also developed a field trip form for every earth science class to use uh, whenever they're going on field trips to increase accessibility. We also hold uh, a bunch of different community building events uh, to help department members feel welcome and included. And perhaps most directly to this cause, we also hold an annual department workshop with a group on campus called Rehearsals for Life, uh, which is a campus theater troupe that uh, holds interactive workshops to help the audience build skills towards interrupting oppressive situations. So as we were starting ideas, we knew that we wanted to take a slightly different approach. And because of our previous experience with other similar groups, we wanted to seriously cut down on the amount of time and effort that went into bureaucratic maintenance, like member recruitment and holding elections. And we also wanted to find ways to engage the whole department, not just women and TGNC folks, because we recognize that in order to implement the burial, barrier uh, removal part of our mission, that wrecking ball, uh, we needed buy-in not only from the people that we wanted to help, uh, but also from the people who consciously or not were perpetuating these barriers, which are oftentimes cisgender white men. Uh, so toward these ends, IDEAS operates under a volunteer-based horizontal organizational structure without a defined membership. So everyone in our department, regardless of gender identity or level in their career, has the ability to participate in ideas to whatever degree they want, uh, to from everything, from uh, uh, attending events to organizing meetings. And, and as a community, we uh, work to help people develop their ideas into real events and programs. So this way we have lots of different perspectives working on how to address, address barriers to gender equity instead of just coming from a select few people. And by offering our programming to everyone, uh, we specifically address the fact that misogyny and patriarchy hurts everybody, not just gender minorities, and allows for healing from this harm across gender identities. <laughs> So our results so far, after two full years of ideas, we're beginning to see some real changes in our department culture. Uh, so ideas has directly helped two previously unengaged female undergrads get into research labs. And here's one of, one of them on her first ever backpacking trip. That was a 10 day off trail trip in some of the most rugged terrain in Oregon. And before she started with ideas, she had never even been camping before. Uh, we have also seen uh, over a nearly a 60% increase in 
the enrollment of female graduate students in our department since the formation of IDEAS. And while I don't, don't want to say that this is a directly causal relationship, uh, I definitely think that there is a strong connection between these two events. And we have also seen the hire of the first non-split appointment or spousal hire of a female tenure track faculty. Uh, since the only other independent female hire in our department way back in 1997. So with ideas, we have a whole number of future directions. Uh, so sprint, since spring term, obviously we have been hosting virtual only events like this field camp preparation session that you can see a picture of here. And so we're continuing this term and this year to develop our virtual programming. And as our participation has hugely increased from our early days, we are also planning to specifically expand our mission to encompass other types of diversity, including ethno-racial diversity. And this year we are also getting a mentorship program off the ground uh, that is the, the purpose of which is to provide support both for undergrads and grad students. We have all sorts of interesting directions that we are heading towards right now. Uh, so an enormous thanks go out to all of the people who have participated in organizing and attending IDEAS programming, and also a huge thanks to our department and specifically to Dr. Paul Wallace and Dr. Josh Roaring for their support of IDEAS as department chairs. Uh, without whose support, this would have been monumentally more difficult. Uh, so if you'd like to have a longer conversation about any of the topics mentioned here, or you're curious about how to implement something similar in your department, feel free to contact me through email or Twitter, uh, or reach out to the whole organization at ideasuo at gmail.com. Uh, so thank you all so much for listening to my talk, and I look forward to interacting with you all during the upcoming conference.